Hello everyone, it's me Sayus and welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to modify our furniture app. This is the first video in our channel. So, our furniture app, furniture app has a home page, a detail page and a card screen page. And now we are going to add a feature which is uh, this uh, there is no delete button in this start page. If you want to delete any of this, we have no option for that. So now we can create a slideable widget so that uh, when we slide a container, uh, when another container, a small container will appear. We can do that in this video. So if you not go to that video i will give the links of that video in the i button or the links in this video description and you can get the source code in the source code description download the source code of this of this video file from the source code link in the video description and change the branch to slideable and it is the code will be saved in this branch. To make a container slideable, we can uh, add a package. For that, go to your favorite browser and type flutter slideable and open the first link. You see, and we got this flutter slideable package and go to installing and copy the dependency here and paste it in the pubspec.yaml file after the font or something paste it here so pub.get ok let's go to export get dependency Okay, now we can go to the part screen and we want to wrap the whole widget. For that, let's check where is this widget. Go to the top. Okay, here is the uh, function to build the cart item and here is thing we building the cart. This whole board will be building the cart. So to make it slideable, wrap this container. This container will be here. Wrap this container with a widget for slideable. Slidable. And slidable will ha have an action plane. Action plane will be slidable draw your action plane. And it will take another an action extension ratio and it will be 0 0.25. And we can add two uh, actions for it. Prime uh, action, uh, let's go to the slideable and it can take action and secondary action. Okay, so it that action here. We can take actions and secondary actions. Actions means we can slide from uh, left to right and uh, second reaction uh, will come from we can right to left. In this case, we need second reaction. We must move the container to the left side. Right. So we can add second reaction. Second reaction. Let's make it, and we have to add a container here for that. Let's make a container. 
width will be 25 height will be 100 as this uh, size 100 will be same as this container size to match the size of this and let's have a texture let's have give a color color will be black let's check the three dark oh okay it's working now okay uh, when we slide everything now a container will come that's good now let's have a decoration here box decoration color will be black and let's have a border radius border radius dot circular let's give 10 okay that i think we can add it some more radius 20 okay that's good and we can use some padding here that would be it let's give a padding and let's give a dim symmetry and horizontal will be that okay that's good and we can now add a delete icon here for that child for the container and child will be icon icon dot delete and set the color to white If you want to add the functionality, uh, if you are creating the app completely, you can wrap the widget in a inkwell or gesture dictator and add the functionality. And this is a small video. And if you like this, give a like to this video. And for more UI tutorials and designs, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.